we are live on location at the Ark of Preservation. And um, what we want to do is to implicate your heart with how far we have gone, trusting the Lord that there will be so much more that will be coming in in the next few months so that this can be a place where we will inhabit. We're right at the front of the Ark and by the mercies of God, by your contributions also, um, this is how far we have gone. Maybe before we go ahead, the first thing I'm supposed to do is to appreciate every one of you in whose hearts God has laid it to contribute towards this construction. Two years ago, it was just a dream. Now we have gone beyond that layer and our expectation is for perfection. Many have prayed, many have given, many have pledged and we trust the Lord to continue to bless you, to fulfill every pledge made, every vow made and that you will give again and again. One thing is certain, we trust the Lord that because the Bible says that God owes no man that you will all be rewarded in due season. And according to the word of the Lord to us in our prayers, this month, September, is that due season for as many as have participated in giving towards the construction of this house. Thank you. The Lord bless you. Like you can see, our fence is in place, even though there's still some little bit of construction work going on. We're trying to fine tune outside here, labors around slabbing um, the borehole facility so that we can have adequate watering systems in the house and then put a gutter so that our fence is saved from any um, kind of erosion that may happen in the future. By the grace of God, we are standing at the main entrance, um, or maybe I should call it the pedestrian entrance into the ark. And we trust the Lord that within the next two, maximum three months, these gates will be opened to admit worshippers so that God can really begin to do the things that he has promised us to do. Our fences are fully lighted already. Um, the walls are lighted. We expect um, that as funds flow in, we can finish up the cleaning and then the painting so that the outside can be more presentable. We still have a lot of work constructing on the ground here so that we bring the floor to the same level with the road um, so that moving vehicles and parking vehicles can be more comfortable. We're trusting God that in the future we'll be able to um, purchase the adjoining, one of the adjoining lands so that we have better parking space. But for now, we have to make do with the outsides so that if they are well flattened, we can have a few vehicles parked in front of the building. You're welcome into the ark. You can come with me. Okay, so out here, what we're trying to do is to put up a housing for the generating set, even though we trust God that for daytime lighting, we run on solar panels so that we save the cost of fuel. Um, we also have the general use um, convenience setups here. So we'll have uh, um, toilets, both for the males and the females, and have a small gate area so that um, the gatekeeper and probably also the compound keepers can have a place to stay when they come to work during the day and also at the night time. You can come with me. What we have done is to create another side gate so that it's easy to vacate the building and come into the conveniences and um, return back in good time. And um, the plan is that as we finalize funding for this phase of the work, the ground outside here is going to be fully interlocked so that um, there's ease of movement. Just very close to the convenience areas, we have our soak away and um, septic tank constructions already done, awaiting slabbing. The fence has also been perfected and we hope in the next few days to perfect lighting on the fence so that um, all around the building we already have um, a security lighting system. You can come with me into the app.
this is how far that the Lord has brought us. Our flooring um, processes are still on, but by the mercies of God, our wiring systems are almost fully completed, awaiting final paneling and then final light fittings. I'll speak about that um, in a short while. But we have most of the normal light systems that are supposed to be in the building are in place. We, by the mercies of God, have fully plastered the building and um, as a startup um, system so that we don't spend too much for a start, we have decided to install fans even though we trust God that as we are prospered in the future, we can bring in air conditioning systems. So our fans are in place um, underneath in the office area and also on the gallery. The flooring is awaiting final tiling um, even though we, as we go up to the gallery we see that the floor the tiling for the gallery has been fully completed we have perfected that for the stage to just a little bit of sidewalks but because there's still a lot of work to be done and in moving around we have not commenced tiling of the floor of the main auditorium you can see that our pop is already set up underneath the gallery and we're trusting God, awaiting procurement also of TVs. I'll speak about that so that those under the gallery can have, can be able to see what is going on um, out there on the stage. So this is how far we have done. All burglary systems have been perfected on the windows. And once again, we want to appreciate the contribution. All our glass windows are already in place. Um, when we go upstairs, we'll see that the the railings for the upper level has also been perfected. Indeed, so much work has been put in place. Let me take you on a work upstairs so that we have a viewing from the gallery. Right here on the floor, we have procured tiles that will also be used um, towards the flooring of the building. Our staircases have not been fully perfected, even though the railings are there but the floor of the staircase still need to be walked. Now we are on the gallery and um, maybe I should say this, that the gallery itself can sit more than our current um, auditorium. Almost like two times plus our current auditorium. So the gallery is wide, it's fully tiled already and we're trusting God for final cleaning finishing painting the fans are in place too the windows and the burglary um is also in place so in case we need to hold a very brief service the gallery can definitely accommodate us to get that done it's um we just need to put up a stage and then we're good to go with the gallery from the gallery we can look deep into the auditorium so it gives us a feel of what someone who is sitting on the gallery will um, see the stage is fully set and then we're trusting God that we have our projectors and our digital screen on the wall by the time that we start transmitting in a few weeks time I'm trusting God for about six to seven weeks as he provides for us we we'll trust the Lord that this year will be the opening and that one of our major gatherings for the year, which is the SHIFT um, conference, would also be holding here. So this is how far we have gone. If we return back downstairs, you see that our um, ceilings are fully in place and they are lighted, but um, we currently don't have them powered, but the lights can come on so that you can see what it will really look like. That's how far we have gone on the gallery let me also show you the office space before i take about three to four minutes um, to now speak to your hearts about the things that we need to have this building fully functional you can come with me upstairs into the office area So we have decided to put up a little waiting area 
um, that will be better developed as we move into the building where those who come visiting for counseling or um, the visitors of the church friends of the ministry can be held seated while they await seeing the minister we have two very small office spaces one to for a pastor or a secretary and then another bigger one which is supposed to also play host to the pastor you will find out that we have um, toilets systems that are exclusive to the ministers and this has also been fully tiled we have the fans in place we trust god for the installation of an air conditioning system here also in the very near future this in a nutshell is um, an unveiling of how far we have gone but there is still so much to do you can come with me to the stage and then we'll speak with you